There we go. Yeah, apparently I need an account. So, we'll see how this goes. You know what name I'm going to pick. The good old account name that I like to use for all these games. Um, hopefully it's not taken. Wow. Check that out. That's the longest create an account animation sequence ever. Yeah, this looked interesting. I think I'll give this a shot. Wait. Wait. Oh, did it just like... Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's the name I want. Um, build lands and summon creatures to attack your enemy. Destroy their orb to win. Sure. Fugoro. Uh, okay. Stop running, frog boy. Alright, help him, and I get a reward. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, build land toward your enemy. Is that to say that this fellow over here is my adversary? Why can't we just be friends? Also, why is this so quiet? Can anybody hear the game? Or is it just me? Uh, options? Huh. Let's see. Well... I guess we'll boost the effects and the ambient noises and turn down the music. Um, Alright, so this is how much a card costs to play. We got some attack points, some life points. Sure. Sounds good to me. Alright, so Prairie Yak. All right, well, I guess I should play Prairie Yak. Oh, I've got to play something. I've got to play land tiles first. Then I click my yak. Summon it here. Sure. This couldn't possibly backfire. Must wait a turn before attacking. All right. Seems legit. Cutthroat Bandit appears on the field. And now it's my turn. Alright, crush the Bandit so we can counterattack. I mean, my foe only has four hit points, so... but fine. Um, oh, I see, I have two attack. Never mind, I get it, I get it. That wasn't so hard. Sure... Why not? Oh, okay, they, these are my territory. Nice. So these are colored tiles, and I can place on my color of tile. Alright. It is my turn. Wait, can't I just, like, march up to the dude there and beat him? Yeah. And now I attack you. Well. Okay. Cool. Alright, complete these missions to unlock the powers. Unspent Feria is saved for your next turn. Nice. Alright. Is it going to tutorial me the whole way through this, or am I get to play some of these? Uh, can, oh! Okay, that's pretty spiffy. That's like, I should be building toward one of these well things, so that I can... <laughs> I will control all four area wells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it, I get it. I'm not that dumb. Maybe. 
Maybe not. Alright. Your turn, sir. Yep, yep, yep. That's pretty dramatic now, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I've, I've already got six now. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Nice. Um... Alright, farm boy is just gonna sit there. Please don't attack me. Oh no, that would be terrible if we attacked him. That would be absolute. Yeah. Don't you dare steal the Feria. Alright, well, since you insist. Um. Alright, he's got six hit points, which just happens to match the number that's on my guy. Um, boop. Let's play the Prairie Yak over here, because we can. And yeah, that looks fine. Oh no, it's a Cutthroat Bandit. Oh, interesting. Deal one damage to a creature. Nice. Alright. He seems like somebody I'd like to damage. Um, so yeah, let's play some land tiles out here, you know. And... Oh, we don't have enough to attack with. But sure, let's blast him to bits. And we're just going to have a whole lot left over for next turn. It's like Risk, but um, cooler. This is definitely doable. Alright, so. We got. Yeah, this one looks fun. Wait. Do I have any guy that deals like a billion hit points of damage? I don't suppose I do. Alright, so let's just build out toward that well there. Put our walking fortress right in the middle of uh, that territory. And just keep inching toward uh, everything there. Oh no, I'm vulnerable to a direct attack. Wouldn't it be horrifying if... Um, I mean, there's no way he's gonna actually bother placing next to me. But if he could, if he would, wouldn't that be a terrible thing? Oh, I can't take that. Because I'm actually fine. Fine, fine. Whatever, we'll take this one then. Um, so we'll place... This dude... Oh, I can't place both of these. Fine, so we'll place this here. And... I don't know. Just forward we march. Kaboom! Alright, enter. Not the brightest AI out there, but that's okay. Oh, nice. A maceman. Looks like a fine, fine place for a maceman. Uh, let's place our prairie yak out here, I guess. Uh, deals two damage and has four hit points. Oh, but he can't attack right now. Um, 
Kaboom. I suppose that was unwise. Oh well. Um. Oh yeah, let's place some tiles out here, because we can. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have let him advance so close, but, you know, we got campfire. Nice. Kaboom. Why aren't I smorking? I don't know. Alright. Um... Let's just go beat up uh, that there. Uh, this is looking pretty good for me at the moment. Oh, let's not forget to place some land tiles. There we go. Because you never know how that's going to count towards some kind of tiebreaker. It's not going to matter. But, alright. Alright, well... Falcon Dive. Oh, come on, I can't falcon dive on him. Fine, we'll falcon dive on this dude. Kaboom. And we'll overkill, because we can. Nice. Alright. Next, Jelmer. Abilities are explained at the top of each card. If you haven't figured that out by now, this might not be the game for you. Um, win this turn to solve my puzzle. Oh. Nice. Okay. Sure. Um, give a creature plus one plus one. And attack. Man, that was difficult. That was so difficult. Jelmer, whatever this is, puzzle four. Build land near your opponent's orb. Yeah, I think Zug might like this. That was kind of the hope, actually. That, um... Oh, interesting. That was kind of the hope, is that he's not going to tilt as much if we can show him a good game. And at some level, I was actually somewhat interested in Hearthstone, and then I saw this, and I'm like, well, this is just better. Why would you ever play Hearthstone? So. But yeah. This looks like a... And, and casual games... I don't know. In some sense, they are kind of my genre. In other senses, um... I don't know. It... it I'm not sure what I would say that my genre is, per se. Um, oh, forests allow me to play more powerful cards. Some cards require special lands to be played. This requires a forest. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, I guess I've committed to building a forest. Um, well, I guess that's my turn. Well, that's cool. Every time he plays a forest, that gets more powerful. Each turn, you can make one special land or two lands. Dang, that that thing's gonna be a monster. Okay, this requires five forests. Well, I don't have five, but hmm. So I'm gonna build 
to land and start collecting stuff. My maceman can hit for four, so I'm tempted to just put him out there. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this guy's running. I can hit this bandit. Although I take four damage when I hit him. Um, okay, so let's put a forest out here. And we don't have five forests. We need five. Uh, I can play other cards, however. Like our Steam Forge Enforcer. That looks nice. Oh, well, this must be the history of what got played. Oh man, I was hoping he wasn't going to hit that guy. That was too optimistic of me. Okay. Oh, this requires two forests. Um, Alright. Unfortunately, I'm just one mana thing uh, away from being able to hit. So, um, yeah, let's just hit with this guy. That looks pretty nice. Oh, there should be a way to cancel that. Oh, this enemy is taunt. Damn. There's always a catch. We must stay and fight. Um, oh, this is nice, though. We get plus two. Alright, so let's put another forest tile out there. I still can't play my golem. Um... But, I can play this monster and then give it plus two, plus two. Um, where's the fun in that? Uh, wait. Oh, give a creature plus two, plus two. Well, why is this not working? Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, I see. And then I have to target a creature. And then beat the snot out of that. And step over here. And yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good on this one. Cutthroat Bandit shows up on the field. Um, Alright, let's play another forest tile. Now we can start placing our golems. Not that we even need to, but we can. And they like this nice ripple effect when you place them on the board. Um, so yeah, there you go. Another tutorial completed. Alright. There are four colors. Each color has its own land type. Ooh, check that out. Okay. Something's happening here. Oh, good luck. Cartographer. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll stick with the normal opening. Um, 
actually going to open with Farm Boy because uh, I get this fairy whatever is left over to my next turn. Um, oh man. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's clever ish. I always lose to this jerk. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so we need some forests to actually get stuff done. Let's build forest number one. Um, ah. Well, there's no harm in waiting a turn before placing another monster. Draw five cards. Is there a card limit? I sense that I've not seen a card limit. Um, this guy really likes land, though. That's... Alright. Uh, let's build another forest. And... Sure. Place this out. Um... Yeah, five cards seems pretty crazy. Your death comes from the desert. If you say so. Okay, well that doesn't seem uh, tricky at all. We're just gonna give two damage. Oh. In fact, I get to place this out. Oh, it targets that. Yeah, that's what it means by the opponent. Whatever. Uh, I'll target this dude. That wasn't so hard. Um, okay. And yeah, and turn. Burn, 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 he says. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice at all. Okay, two new powers unlocked. You can now either draw a card or gain a Feria instead of making lands. Um, well, I'm sure one of these is draw a card and one of these... The blue ones probably gain a Feria. I could use a card here. Um, yeah. So, my grizzly is going to go here. Um, put a prairie yak next to there. I think that's good. Oh, that was mean. I forgot my guy doesn't have taunt. Okay, I see how this is going. Um. Man, I like my prairie yak, but. Well, I don't know. This way I get to keep my monster. Um, put a mace man out, and if I had another farm boy, I would start doing more clever things. But I don't, so uh, give a creature plus two, plus four. Sure, I guess we'll do this guy. Only because I'm not creative at the moment. This ends now, says he. Okay. His last words. Wait, so... Reduces its master to one life. When I kill this thing. Okay. 
Um, hang on. Before I place that, let's place some land tiles. So that we have a nice channel to get up there. Um, oh, I, I don't have the fairy yet to play that right away. Alright, and then yeah, we'll end turn there. Draw five cards again. <laughs> He doesn't have a hand limit. It's not fair. Uh, okay. Gain two life. Tiki caretaker. Sure. Um, that's pretty nice. I guess if I have a taunt, that doesn't hurt to have that out there. Um, I could draw a card. Or I could place some more land, which might help me at some point. Um, whoops, that's a forest. and turn there. Oh, is there a milling cow? Oh. I was wondering if milling was a real thing in this. Uh, apparently some of those cards appeared in some darker color. I don't see a card count anywhere. I see a 9 and an 8. But I don't see a card counter somewhere. Um... All right. That looks good. And, um, I don't know, we'll, I don't have enough area to do anything useful, really. Having another card might not hurt, but, um, hmm, hmm, indeed. Now let's draw a card. Gives us something constructive to aim toward. Okay. So we get two life. Summon my prairie yak, apparently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's put a forest somewhere. I guess here. And we'll put our golem out there. And... yeah. He hits for ten, which sucks. Um, so let's hit this guy. And then what? I still can't play my Prairie Yak, so I guess that ends my turn. Charge three. Okay, so... He's got four hit points. I don't have anything that deals four damage. Um, I'm going to take ten damage with whatever I attack with, so... I should probably use the Grizzly and that way I keep my Golem. Um, or I could exchange my Golem for this Nexus and I'd still have a good attacker left over. Which actually works out better. Man, that's disgusting. Um, I like that this has 10 hit points. 
but well I don't know six one way half dozen the other way I either am left with a guy well this guy five hit points or five attack can take out any of those dudes so having the 10 hit points is actually pretty useful. Um, attack with two guys on one side. Oh, right, this is a taunt. So, yeah, I think using the taunt, forcing him to attack my taunt, um, is probably a better strategy here. I could even bring out some other dude to start attacking, too. Like my Prairie Yak. Meanwhile, this guy can go beat up that dude. Oh, well, okay. I did not see that that was mutually assured destruction. That's my bad. Um, meanwhile... Our golem's just going to march up the field and have a field day of a sort. Um, now let's see if I get a good card. Another prairie yak. Can never have too many prairie yaks. Which I guess we can only place on a prairie tile. Oh, alright. Nice, we got another golem. Um, uh, which can only be placed in a forest. So I guess that's why it's reasonable to upgrade this to a forest and then stick the golem out there. And let the prairie yak have some fun with this. What have I done? I, I used my prairie yak. That's that's what I done. Alright. Um, so I bet he's got some like super powerful hidden card now that like completely ruins my day. Alright, so Okay, we'll just put this out here. There we go. GG. GG no re. Alright, so apparently, um, we got a new formula. Spiffy. Okay, you're playing as a guest to secure your unique name. Play on multiple platforms and save your progress. Create your file. If you choose to validate your account, you'll be rewarded with two battle chests. Oh man. Wow. This is really convincing stuff. But yeah, I should probably create an account. So, one second, we'll have a brief intermission here as I go take care of these details. Hope that wasn't too, um, too much of an intermission. There we go. Congratulations, you've unlocked the main interface. Let's start by creating your first deck. Wow. Um, yeah, that was nice timing for that card to show up. Alright, we're gonna make a deck, guys. We're gonna hit the new deck button. This is a formula. Use it to create a deck in a few seconds. Sure. Create deck. Save. Nice. It's just like playing that Pokemon trading card game on the Game Boy Color. Let's try out your deck. Sure. Missions. 
complete them to level up and get more cards. All we gotta do is complete three missions. Okay. Sure. One of eight. Alright, whatever. Sure. Sounds good. Can we start the game yet? Please? Alright. I suppose this is the part where it stops holding my hand and I actually have to try playing. Um, Alright, so... You play second, apparently something... Yeah, I don't know. Um, these actually look okay. Um, yeah, I don't need that. Redrawn. Well, uh, so... Now nah, these are fine. Confirm. I'll go first. I suppose... Okay, I get... Ah, nice. Create a prairie and gain two berry. That rhymes. How excellent. Um... So, I'm gonna do something a bit... out of the ordinary. I'm gonna just build straight up the middle. One, two... Three. There we go. Straight up the middle. Just so we're building toward all the fairy points. Pretty unusual opening move. Um, but whatever. Good enough. Behold my structure. Wait. Structures can't move or fight back. Attack them with your creatures. Oh. Except he put, like, this creature in front of it. I need to attack the structure. Yeah, sure would have helped if I didn't play that other thing. Whatever. So. Boop. Boop. Um. Prairie Act. Go. Um. Sure, whatever. Close enough. Oh man, he gets to draw two cards. Oh, my Prairie Axe survived that. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, a Tiki Caretaker. Too bad I don't have any forests out. Or I'd be able to play some of my awesome forest cards. Um... Alright, I guess we'll attack the structure. And that's that. My turn. Talking about my turn. Alright, so let's put that there. Um, oh, I don't have any creatures to gain give stuff to. Um, well. Man, these all synergize with each other. Other than the taunt here, who just does his own thing. Um, oh, when you summon a creature with five or more life, it gains plus one, plus one. Okay, let's keep that guy close by. Um, if you control a creature with five life or more, it costs two less. I think I understand that right. Oh. Sure. Um, I guess I didn't play that right. Whatever. Let's 
So I just need to walk... Oh, this is a taunt. No, it's not. It's just a structure. Uh, there, there's the thing that prevents me from just winning on the spot. The village elder is going to go out and attack. But it also allows me to draw a card. Oh, but shoot. <laughs> uh, I did not think that through. Alright, so we're going to fence in his stuff. And I don't have enough fairy to place the thing out, so oh well. But yeah, I definitely control the tiles on the board. Uh, I've contained his land, which probably would have helped a lot more in the previous game. Or, yeah, I guess game is the appropriate term. Um, village Elder attacks the structure. How dare I? Um, I dare because it helps me. That's how I dare. Um, sure, let's upgrade this to a forest. Stick this dude here. Yeah, seems to be going pretty well. Probably would go better if I approached this fairy point right next to my base, but you know, what you gonna do? Um, <sighs> so, as he approaches my base, I should probably do something about that. So, yeah. Again, I do want to approach this fairy point, I just have not had a turn in which it's been safe to do so. Ha! Ha! Okay, I see. That's how it's gonna be. So he's gonna manage to build tiles anyway. Um... Oh, right! Right. This guy can actually attack. He doesn't just have to collect all day, he can be useful. Um, is this a creature? This one one thing here? Yes. Random friendly creature gains plus two plus four when he goes. Alright. Oh man, these things, they're all the same there. That's kind of super annoying. Um, Wow. Um, okay, so yeah, I better start attacking. Let's see, he's got six hit points. So I need to take care of him. Um, let's actually put a forest out up here. Just so I can place stuff um, all the way out there. Oh, this is nice. Um, wait, do I have anywhere to place my tiki tiki caretaker? I do not. Um. I could have planned this better. I could have planned this much better. So, let's take that. Oh, okay, good. That's the one that got powered up. Um, and then... Then I think I would just want to attack this head-on. Um... Before it gets too powerful. Oh wow! That didn't actually power up this guy, so I can just hit this guy too. Uh, he's got 10 hit points. 
creates an adjacent forest at random. Is this not creature, though? I thought this is like a structure or something. Um, I'll have to build one of those when I get the chance. Yep, that's a creature. That fights like a creature, bites like a creature. Definitely a creature. Alright, so... Finally, we shall build a forest way back home there. Um, put this forest thing all the way up on the front line. And... Sure. Let's go up and hit that. And go up and hit that. And see, you know, if that triggers some sort of reaction out of my opponent. Probably should have played the Tiki Caretaker this turn, and just one on the spot, but that would require paying attention. Um, yeah, probably, well, so I'm still winning this pretty, <laughs> winning this pretty handily, we'll say. Um, all right. You're going to move there and collect one of these things, and then I'm going to use my plus one, and then I'm going to play Seed Sower somewhere. That just, like, builds forests, apparently. But, yeah. There we go. GG. That wasn't so hard. I finally got to play that card that I probably should have played much earlier. You have received a new card. Sure. Alright, we'll see how it goes into the deck. You take your deck. You add the card. Click any card to remove it. Now click this one to add it. Alright. Cool. Um, it's got the new deck button highlighted, but that's not really what I'm wanting to do at the moment. So let's go back and use our deck in wherever it was that we're playing. Missions, sure. The Krog mission, sure. Wait. Alright, selected the deck, hit the play button. For the second time, red powers use the fiery stuff. I missed the last word, but that's okay. You play first. Alright, um... Grove Guardian's pretty nice, but pretty expensive. It requires me to have three forests. Um... Ancient Boar is not getting played on the first turn. Let's shuffle the... Oh. It turns out that all my cards are just, like, super hard to play. Um, King of Ogres. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I got nothing. Let's build out this way, then. Oh. Spiffy. That's pretty nice. We'll build a quaint little forest over there. Um... Oh. Sure, let's play this because we can. Wait, can he not collect from that fountain? He should be able to, right? Alright, Barbarian Ogre. Fight for Krog, the Ogre King. Alright, um... Charge 3 this turn. I assume charge 3 means the ability to move 3 spaces. 
Hopefully I'm not mistaken in that assumption. Okay. Power that dude up. End the turn. Ah, the legendary Prairie Yak has arrived. Alright, so... We got some pretty spiffy cards here. Um... Huh. Wait, this is 1-1. One, one. Okay, so I see what I can do. Um... This might hurt a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Um, do I have two forests out yet? No. Let's play another forest tile. Um, if you control a creature with five life or more, it costs two less. Well, that seems to cost... Yeah, okay, I get it. So, at least at this moment, that costs two less to play. Oh, but I forgot to connect the land to help me actually attack this dude. Whatever. We'll just attack when we get a chance. Assuming he doesn't run away. Alright, so he's not running. Um... Yeah. So here's what we do. Um... Play a tile. Oh man, this could be, this could get ugly. All right, so you go hit this thing. Uh, oh, that doesn't reduce the hit. That doesn't. Okay, I miscalculated pretty badly. Um. Mm -hmm. Oops. Wait, yeah, because this 8-7 is going to be taken out by the 7-6. The fact that I reduced its hit point by 1 doesn't mean it hits me for any less. I'm thinking of a different game. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that works. That works for me. My turn. Talking about my turn. Alright, so... Yeah, I think... Oh, wow. Got plenty of good options. Let's, let's, let's place the legendary Prairie Yak out there. Um, and then just build up some tiles right next to the target. And just slowly advance toward that. Um, I think this is fine. At least until I collect some more fairy, we'll keep this station. Oh, this isn't a taunt. Oh, I did not count on him placing right next to me like that. Uh, creates an adjacent forest at random. Interesting. Um... Probably want to have that. Well, I have to place this in a forest, don't I? All right. Hopefully, this isn't a problem. Um, charge three. Not exactly sure how that works, but... Oops. Yeah, okay, let's go attack. That tickle! Oh, that tickle. Oh, is he just gonna let me keep attacking him? Okay. Uh, 
Um, hmm. I think that allows... Oh, this... Oh, right, I have to actually walk him onto a territory in order to be able to do that. Um... Like, I could walk this guy here, and then hit you. And then I could place a forest tile over here. Um, and then our horse master... Oh, can actually go all the way over here, because why not? Uh, giving this guy three charge. So he can run up the field. Okay, so I did interpret that correctly. So, yeah, next turn, all my guys shuffle around and hit him. And that's GG. Of course, now he plays a taunt or a fireball or something ridiculous. Alright, I am being hit. Um... Sure. Okay, you're gonna come back and hit him. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Um, farm boy. Yeah. You're just going to try to go back and collect this fairy, not that it matters. Um, can we hit from there? Okay, this is good. That's not a taunt. Um, so then we can hit you again, and hit you a third time, and that's GG. You received a new daily quest. All right. Log in daily to earn increasing rewards. Oh, even if you miss a day. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm sure it would be a shame if I missed a day in this game. Oh, we gotta complete one more mission. And then we unlock the whatever it is that we unlock. Cypher has burned his name into the ashes of broken kingdoms. Oh, I play first. This actually looks... Well, Grove Guardian's pretty hard to play. Again. But the rest of this looks pretty nice. Ish. Enjoy your last breaths. I mean, if you're not enjoying them, then why even bother taking them? Alright, so, and turn there. Ah, so. Um. Apparently, I only have any forest tile creatures. That's pretty strange. Alright, so build out that way. I don't know. Place our prairie yak like we normally do. And that'll collect this fairy stuff. Ah, there we go. Confrontation is uh, incoming. And all I got... Well, okay, I've got a Grove Guardian. And no way of placing enough forests in time. Um... I would place the forest right in the center, but that kind of connects our lands, doesn't it? So... Alright, we'll place a guard. Because that doesn't seem like a bad idea. At least at the moment it doesn't. Well, 
I sure don't want him summoning things right next to me. Um. Alright, so... Uh, okay. Play our village elder out here. Um, it says draw a card. I don't remember having drawn a card. Oh, that's last words. So that's when he gets killed. I draw a card. So it's good that he's in a really nice position there. And because he occupies that... Whoa, okay. Unexpectedly, my bow is going to take a different path, maybe? Maybe not. But because he occupied that forest for a turn... Oh, nice. This is good timing. Um, this is very good timing. Oh, this is a taunt. Okay, I get it. Um, let's just place another forest up there. Um, actually use our taunt back here. And... I mean, we could place out more stuff if we wanted to. Here, let's do one damage to this guy. And that's that, I suppose. Now let's place this out. And if he does nothing this turn, then I place my Horse Master and charge and attack him. Um, all right, so five two. Oh, nice. Add a random green card to your hand that costs three less. Um, so what I want to do is one, two, and then place my horse master. Uh, <laughs> apparently still on my side of the board. That's okay. It gives three charge to this guy. This guy just says, you know what? Um, I mean, I want to hit, but... Um, apparently, three charge does not mean three in this context. Or somehow I just can't run across that tile. I don't know that I understand that, but whatever. Add a random oh, last words. Add a random green card to your hand. So that's only if he gets killed do I get to benefit from that. So let's put him out on the front line. Is this is a taunt. This is not a taunt. So, yeah. Um... Okay, that gift only takes effect the first time the card is played. Apparently. Uh, I don't have a forest in which to place my caretaker. Let's correct that. Three three is going to go back and hit this dude, and then I get last words, which gives me a card. Um, huh? Oh, okay. Apparently this is discounted, so whatever. Let's place it, uh, which goes plus two plus two, which looks pretty nice. And then we'll go hit him for seven. Um, Is there anything else I want to do? Let's just move all our guys forward a little bit, I guess. Only because they're feeling a little cramped at the moment. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Let me guess, now he plays something that like wipes out the whole board for 10. Um, or not. Alright, my turn again. Ancient Boar. Okay, reduced cost. But I have no forest in which to place him, so let's build a forest. Place him there. Um, use our 3 3 to hit that guy. Um, just march up the board in general. leave the guard back in place. Oh, I have not hit you yet. That was pretty cool. At last a challenge, he says. Well, you better have something compelling in your hand or this isn't going to work out, buddy. Just saying. Alright, can we build another forest? Stick this out there. Go beat you up. Beat you up. And we're good. Nice. Well, that was a pretty major victory. That takes us to three victory, or three missions. We've completed the objective. Yeah. Ooh, we got a new formula. The Red Starter. Wow. You've received a new formula. Let's use it. Well, let's see how far we get in here. Oh, okay. I'm free to do what I as I please. So, we're going to save some... Oh, gosh darn it. I don't have a choice. Okay. I'm forced to hit the button. Yeah, let's... Red Starter. Got it. Okay, we're going to create the deck. And then just add some cards like... I don't know. Queen's Assassin, Prairie Yak. That seems like a good deck. Alright, so we're going to leave us in suspense. Having built the red deck, validate your email. Nope, not doing it. Not right now. Alright, so we escape the game somehow and try not to look too embarrassed um, trying to find the right button. Um, but yeah. Apparently that's fairy. F A E R I E. Um oh, got a friend list thing. Sure. Wait. This is not a friend ask. This is a the game suggesting that I do an invitation to somebody as opposed to somebody actually asking me to befriend them. If, some, if for somebody doing a request, that'd be one thing, but I'm not going to go make random requests of people. Uh, but yeah, we got the deck, we got the green deck, we got the red deck. We'll probably end up with a blue deck at some point. Um, you know, that's just how these sorts of things work. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um... Not sure when I'm going to next play this. If there's interest, maybe we'll do it again, but probably I should just stick with chess. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, now where's the damn button? <laughs>